I am Anil Kumar and in this video I will discuss some strategies which will help you to solve derivatives of composite functions. So we will consider a few examples which are kind of typical and once you understand how to simplify and do those examples you will benefit a lot in solving similar questions. The first example for me is let us say you are given a function y equals to x minus cube root of x over something let us say let's make it complicated uh, let's say square root right so if you have a function like this and you need to find derivative of such kind of a function you could use the quotient rule and simplify and then find the solution you could also simplify the expression right so that is the kind of strategy you think about writing the equation as x over square root of x minus cube root of x over square root of x right so in exponent forms you could write this as x to the power of 1 minus half which is half right and here you could write x to the power of let me write this 1 over 3 minus half right so we can further simplify this we can say x to the power of half minus so when you do that 1 over 3 minus you need to cross multiply so you get x to the power of minus 1 over 6 but the idea is once you write your function in this form it is easier to write the derivative correct okay? so uh, so we could say y dash for you is half x to the power of minus half and in this case minus and minus becomes plus 1 over 6 x to the power of minus 1 over 6 minus 1 which is minus 7 over 6 so so it is easier to find the solution if you can convert your radicals especially into powers and then apply power rule. So in this strategy it is uh, power rule which can be applied right. So power rule is kind of a simpler rule to apply than quotient rule. Okay. Another example which I want to take with you is when we have some complicated functions which could be kind of uh, like this we have product rule here let us say 1 minus x cube divided by and uh, we could write something here so let's say x let's say x uh, plus 3 whole cube how does it matter let us say we have something like this now in this kind of a question you can apply the quotient rule but in that case and you know when you apply the quotient rule numerator is product of two so here you have product rule quotient rule chain rule all combined together so it becomes really difficult sometimes what you can do is you can actually expand the numerator so in the numerator you get x squared minus x to the power of 5 and the denominator becomes x plus 3 whole cube now that becomes a simpler function to work with since derivative of numerator now is not product rule right it's not product and chain rule do you understand it is a simple power rule so the strategy here is that if possible convert those chain rules into product rules right now you know you could do y dash as a denominator square which is x plus 3 to the power of 6 and here derivative of this is 2x minus 5x to the power of 4 times derivative of denominator I mean denominator which is x plus 3 whole cube minus the first part which is x square minus x to the power of 5 times uh, the denominator derivative which is 3 times so let me write 3 in the bracket first x plus 3 square right so that becomes the derivative of this particular function and became simpler relatively because we multiplied the numerator and applied the power rule right so again the idea is to change product and chain rule to power rule right so that means power times constant right so power rule in that case you kind of simplify your equation to a large extent 
and then it's very very easy for you to do let me give you one more excellent example which you will definitely appreciate let us say we have a function which looks like something like this right so we have square root of x and we have nested square roots do you see that these square roots are nested how do you find derivative of this function it is puzzling right because uh, sometimes this could be a longer series right now the idea here again is to write this particular equation in the form of a polynomial kind of thing power rule can be applied so that power rule how do we do that we start from inside function it is x to the power of half we say x to the power of half right so this is we are taken care of first time then it's multiplied by x now everything is to the power of half okay then it's again multiplied by half x and everything is to the power of half do you see that now you can write this expression as equal to you can combine these two so it becomes 1 plus half is 3 over 2, right? So the inside function is 3 over 2. So x to the power of, I mean, okay, let me write this now like this, x to the power of 3 over 2, to the power of half times x and everything to the power of half. So now this becomes 3 over 4 plus 1, which is 7 over 7 over Four, right to the power of half so once you simplify this you get x to the power of 7 over 4 to the power of half which is x to the power of 7 over 8 right so once you have y equals to x to the power of 7 over 8 you can apply the product rule and find the answer very easily right so so your answer you know is what y dash is 7 over 8 x to the power of 7 over 8 minus 1 which is minus 1 over 8, correct? That's simple. So what I'm trying to share with you is that at times it may be worthwhile to use power rule instead of chain rules or product rules. So that is that is what I want to share with you. With that in mind, go ahead and solve some questions on composite functions. Thank you and all the best.